Right friends, welcome back to Questions and Answers. This is the 13th week from 28th March to 3rd April. Government announced new MVNVO policy. What is the meaning of MVNVO? MVNVO means Mobile Virtual Network Operator. That means they can purchase the required infrastructure from reputed telecom players like Vodafone, Airtel, etc. And it will have positive impact especially in rural areas. Look into the next one. Center extended the safeguard duty on certain type of steel imports till March 2018 is the right answer. And I would like to tell you a few more points. In addition to safeguard duty, countervailing duty as well as anti-dumping duty or WTO compliant and this safeguard duty is imposed when the surge in imports that means a sudden increase in imports threatens to derail the domestic industry or you can say causing injury to the domestic industry under those circumstances this safeguard duty can be imposed and it is WTO compliant. Name the state government which stated that it will establish country's first university exclusively focusing on organic farming. Nowadays, a lot of buzz is going on organic farming and please don't forget Sikkim is the first organic state in the country and at the same time National Organic Farming Research Institute or NOFRI will come up at Gangtok Sikkim and Gujarat government announced that it will start first university exclusively focusing on organic farming. Here the apps are given Buddy is the app of uh, SBI. These are payment mechanisms, pocket is of ICICI bank, pay job is of uh, HDFC bank, line pertains to Axis bank. Please don't forget if you are writing some bank exams. ONGC Videsh Limited, OVL, this is the arm of uh, ONGC and this will acquire 15% stake in Vancor oil field for 1.268 billion dollars and this Vancor oil field is situated in Russia and Rosneft is the petroleum firm in Russia where the majority shareholding is by Russian government. Name the country whose Supreme Court upheld Islam as the state religion. Here military dictator in the year 1988 declared Islam as the state religion and now Supreme Court upheld Islam as the state religion. But please don't forget, in 2011, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina introduced or you can say reintroduced secularism as the political doctrine. Please don't forget, in Bangladesh, though Islam will continue to be state religion, but political doctrine will be secularism. And nowadays, murder of several secular bloggers in the country is causing alarm across the world. Find the odd one out. These are the bonds issued in various currencies. If you look at the dim sum bonds, these are issued in the currency that is Chinese currency, Yuan. Masala bonds are rupee denominated bonds. Samurai bonds are N denominated bonds. Previously, we discussed a lot about these things. So, I am skipping more information here. Palmyra is in news recently. Palmyra is in Syria. Syrian government forces supported by Russia recently recaptured Palmyra. And Palmyra is a historical world heritage site. And its architecture pertains to 1st and 2nd century AD with Greco-Roman architecture and world famous Baal Temple, Baal Shaman Temple and Arch of Triumph are situated there. But most of these structures were dismantled by IS. UNESCO that is Paris based cultural arm of United Nations expressed its concern over the dismantling of these heritage structures by IS. Unclaimed deposits of employees provident fund, public provident fund and small savings schemes like post office savings account, recurring deposit accounts, 
over seven years duration will be diverted by the central government towards setting up a senior citizens welfare fund. A senior citizens welfare fund will be established by diverting unclaimed deposits of more than seven years duration. But some of the organizations expressed concern over this decision taken by the Union Finance Ministry. European Investment Bank agreed to grant a sum of 450 million euro to Lucknow Metro. And recently, our Prime Minister attended 13th India-EU summit in Brussels, Belgium. And it was decided that 450 million euro will be granted as a load to Lucknow Metro. And similarly, please don't forget Germany's development bank, which is known as KFW, will provide a loan assistance of rupees 3750 crore for Nagpur Metro. If someone asks about the Lucknow Metro, it will be funded by European Investment Bank and Nagpur Metro will be funded by Germany's Development Bank. And look at the next question. India and United States of America signed Memorandum of Understanding for setting up a LIGO Observatory project in India. What is LIGO? LIGO is Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory and recently gravitational waves were detected by these observatories in United States of America and subsequently our union cabinet took a decision to grant rupees 1200 crore for this project and accordingly when our prime minister visited united states of america it was decided that technical collaboration will be taken from national science foundation of united states of america right there are two LIGO observatories in the United States of America at a distance of around 3000 kilometers and India will have its own LIGO observatory if everything goes well by 2023 and this LIGO will enable analyzing gravitational waves. Under Pradhan Mantri Mudra Yojana, government is planning to give loans worth Rs. 1,80,000 crores during 2016-17. As per some news reports, the figure is Rs. 1,22,000 crores, but the Prime Minister announced that Rs. 1,80,000 crores of loans will be given during 2016-17. And please don't forget, Mudra is the subsidiary of SIDB and it refinances to micro and small enterprises. Prices. Core sector registered a growth of 5.7%. The number of industries in core sector is 8. There are 8 industries in core sector. Altogether, core sector constitutes 38% of index of industrial production. You can say the total weightage of these core sector industries, that is 8 core sector industries, is 38% in IIP. Shani Shinganapur Temple is in the news recently. It is in Ahmadnagar district of Maharashtra. Bombay High Court ordered the entry of women into the Sanctum Sanctorum or the inner temple, you can say. And recently, some women entered the temple or Sanctum Sanctorum of the temple and the 400-year-old tradition of not allowing women into the inner sanctorum was broken based on the decision of the Bombay High Court. Right? BTIA talks were deadlocked since 2007. BTIA, these are the trade talks between India and the European Union. These were shelved for some time and they began in the year 2007 and BTIA talks are for free trade between India and the European Union. When the Prime Minister visited Brussels recently, it was decided to restart the negotiations and if someone asks about the BTIA, broad-based trade and investment agreement between India and the European Union. Public sector port in India which crossed 100 million tons cargo handling for the first time in the country is Kandla. Kandla is situated in Gujarat and there are 12 major ports in the country which are under the Ministry of Shipping. Please don't forget, all the major ports are looked after by Ministry of Shipping and minor ports are with the state governments. 
Iranian president has recently visited Pakistan. Iran and Pakistan are into two different groups. Iran is heading Shia Muslim sect and Pakistan has got close relations with Saudi Arabia because predominantly Pakistan is a Sunni Muslim dominated country. So, under these circumstances, Iranian president's visit to Pakistan assumed significance and both of them agreed to enhance bilateral trade and cooperation on regional security. And please don't forget, it is the visit of Iran's head of state after a gap of 14 years. Name the state which has got the highest gross state domestic product. The state is Maharashtra and please don't forget, Maharashtra also accounts for around 24% of the total bank deposits in the country. Telecom Commission approved 112 as the single emergency number. If you look at the United States of America, single emergency number is there for police, fire, ambulance or any type of emergency that is 911. If you look at UK, 999 is the emergency number and if you look at European Union, it is a 112. On these lines, Telecom Commission approved 112 as the single emergency number and once this is implemented, you can call 112 for any emergency that is police, fire or ambulance. Jaha Hadid, the famous architect, she was born in Iraq but settled in United Kingdom, died recently and she was a famous architect and she was the first woman and first Muslim to receive Pritchker Architecture Prize and first woman to receive Riba Gold Medal. Government unveiled Defense Procurement Procedure 2016 and this basically states about the procedure to be followed while procuring weapons, arms and ammunition from foreign countries and this replaces Defense Procurement Procedure 2013 and this came into force from 1st April 2016. ISRO will launch 22 satellites in a single mission in May 2016. These 22 will be the record for ISRO. Previous record held by ISRO is 10 in 2008 and world record is by NASA with 29 satellites in 2013. And these 22 satellites will include India's Cartosat 2C satellite along with the 21 satellites from other countries. India committed $1 million to IAEA Nuclear Security Fund. Recently, the Prime Minister attended 4th Nuclear Security Summit in United States of America and previously India committed $1 million to IAEA Nuclear Security Fund and India further committed $1 million to IAEA Nuclear Security Fund. With this, the total commitment by India goes to $2 million. Name the bank whose staff have gone for four-day strike to protest against privatization. The bank is IDBA Bank. And please don't forget, it was initially a development financial institution or DFI, subsequently converted to Universal Bank, just like ICICA Bank. And recently, during the budget presentation, the Finance Minister announced that IDBA Bank will be privatized. What is the meaning of privatization? The meaning of privatization is government coming out of majority stake or you can say government coming out to less than 50% stake in the ownership of the company or bank. Cabinet approved National Hydrology Project at a cost of Rs 3,679 crores. Government announced national film awards for 2015. The best film is Bahubali, The Beginning. It was made in Telugu and Tamil languages. And during the 63-year-old history, this is the first time that a Telugu film has got national film award. And its director is S.S. Rajamouli. And if you look at the best actor, Amitabh Bachchan for Piku and Kangana Ranaut got for Tanu Vets Manu Returns. Sanjay Leela Bansali is the best director. For Bazi Rao Mastani, please don't forget remaining things I have given in this PPT. Please go through them. And please don't forget Nargistat Award for Best Feature Film on National Integration has gone to Punjabi film Nanak Shafaki. Please don't forget. 
name the state which passed here bill to provide reservation for jats and five other communities or castes it is haryana all of you are familiar with the recent jats as station and now a bill was passed in haryana assembly which facilitates 10% reservation in educational institutions and in group c and d posts and 6% reservation in group a and b posts right baidu navigation system recently a satellite was launched by china that's why i asked this question just like gps belongs to united states of america this baidu navigation system belongs to china please don't forget the union finance minister recently visited australia and he opened the branch of union bank of india when he visited australia partial ban on liquor came into force from 14 2016 the state we are talking about is bihar and subsequently complete prohibition was also imposed in the state and please don't forget recently nitish kumar became jdu president for handling of radioactive material one should obtain license from aerb and aerb is headquartered in mumbai aerb means atomic energy regulatory board don't forget reliance defense formulated joint venture with rafale advanced defense systems to manufacture defense equipment in india and rafale is based in israel don't forget tesla motors recently unveiled 35000 dollar model 3 electric car and this tesla motors is based in united states of america and it is promoted by elon musk and this electric car has created lot of curiosity across the world and there are some bookings from india also and this electric car can travel up to 215 miles or you can say around 350 kilometers per single charge and the pickup speed is up to 60 kilometers per hour in less than 6 seconds and the first production is expected by 2017 year end amazon is establishing its largest facility outside united states of america in hyderabad all of you are familiar with amazon amazon is a leading e-commerce and cloud services firm ceo is jeff bezos and its largest campus outside united states of america is going to come up in hyderabad the capital of telangana and if you are looking at telangana please don't forget mission kakatiya it has got uh, acclaim across the country it is a desilting of tanks it has gone to the notice of niti aayog and niti aayog gave instructions for other states to implement it then other program of telangana is mission bhagiratha so as to provide drinking water to each and every village then telangana launched a tea hub and telangana also launched m wallet mobile application for getting digital copies of driving licenses fostin archanj Todara sworn in as the new president of Central African Republic and Central African Republic is one of the most unstable countries in Africa and it got independence from France in 1960 capital is Bangui and the population is around 47 lakhs India and Belgium jointly activated Asia's largest optical telescope ERIS and it is situated in Devasthal a place near Nainital in Uttarakhand what is the meaning of eris eris is aryabhatta research institute of observational sciences and it is the infrared steerable optical telescope which is the first of its kind in entire asia and it is built with the belgian assistance located at an elevation of around 2500 meters as per the news reports it can be operated with the help of remote control from anywhere across the world Researchers have recently discovered sand eating tadpole species in western ghats so please don't forget and more details about this we will discuss sometime later under science and technology the captain of the west indies cricket team which won icc t20 world cup for the second time is darren somi all of you are familiar with and if you look at the men's t20 final was held at kolkata in the final west indies defeated england and west indies won the trophy for the second time player of the match is martin samuels of west indies player of the series is virat kohli of india and west indies captain darren somi and england captain is 
Eon Morgan is the England captain. If you look at the women's T20, it was also won by West Indies, please don't forget. And West Indies captain is Stephanie Tyler and they defeated Australia and West Indies won for the first time women's T20. Right friends, with this let us conclude the questions and answers. Please do join for other modules. Have a nice day. Thank you.